Hola, hola, hola. Buenos dias, my beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. And I'm here today with my happy grimoire. Oh my goodness, it's been forever since I've been in my grimoire. And I have finally taken the plunge to get back into my grimoire. Honestly, I think I was psyching myself out when it came to my grimoire. I just really felt like I wasn't doing it the way I wanted to do it. I set up a couple of pages in my grimoire. Um, and mostly I was working in like the moon magic section. Um, I did a few pages of like full moon and Sagittarius notes and then I also did new moon in Cancer and this was kind of the style I was working in. I was just kind of taking notes um, on filler paper, some stickers, some mild liner, but mostly it was just pen and I just didn't feel like this was the way I wanted to do things, but I wasn't sure about how I wanted to do things. So I was kind of at a loss and I felt like I really wasn't steering the ship where I wanted to go. And because of that dissonance, I just let the entire grimoire be abandoned. I just abandoned this entire project until I felt like I was ready to come back to it. I regret that. I feel like I should just have kept on continuing to work on it and, you know, experiment with different styles and techniques to figure out what I wanted to do. But it is what it is. Um, I finally decided to get it back in here because I've been wanting to get back into, you know, chronicling about the new moons and the full moons and different zodiac signs. Um, when I first was working in here, I did it kind of whenever I had the chance. So I had full moon in Sagittarius, new moon in Cancer serum and then I just let it go and we just recently experienced new moon in Aries um, earlier this month it was April the 20th actually and actually new moon in Aries is the first lunar event um, in the cycle so it goes new moon in Aries full moon in I don't know what it is and then new moon in Taurus it goes through the entire cycle because Aries is the first sign in the zodiac and new moon in Aries energy is very like kickstarty it's a time when people feel like the energy to initiate to begin to create to kickstart to kick off and so I felt like I could really harness this moon's energy and dive back into my grimoire and then I also decided to set it up in a new way I decided to use scrapbook paper and also filler paper and stickers um and pen to really decorate these spreads and I also realized that I wanted more than one page per lunar event so previously I had only given myself one page to journal about full moon in Sagittarius or what have you but nowadays I think I'm gonna stretch things out a little bit more less text per page a little bit more simple and sleek um, and then have multiple pages and I use scrapbook paper as a backdrop um, for filler paper. And then I used stickers and then little scrapbook cutouts um, to really decorate this. And so I made four pages and I really, really like how this turned out. I think this is exactly what I was envisioning in my head when I was thinking about my grimoire. And so I'm going to be filling out these pages with you. Um, I didn't film the setup of this because I wasn't really sure about what I want to do, how long it was going to take, and I just kind of wanted to sink into it and zone it out. But I wanted to come on here and film, you know, filling out these pages. And I think I'm going to use this in this favorite things section. I'm going to list out the main six like major um, concepts of New Moon in Aries. And then here in this section, I think I might journal a little bit about what this new moon is. And then here I'm thinking of listing out a couple of things to do during the new moon in Aries. And then um, I think in this one I might do my new moon wishes. And then here I'm going to do my new moon in Aries reflection. So once we've completed the new moon in Aries, gone all the way to the full moon, I want to come back here and then write about how this new moon in Aries went, if I completed my new moon wishes, etc, etc. 
Um, okay, so let's get started. And I think the two texts that I'm going to be referencing are Moonology by Yasmin Boland and Living by the Moon by... I'm not sure who this is by. It's by Lunarly with Kiki Ellie. This is moon-based self-care for your mind, body, and soul. What I like about um, these two texts, this one is very much focused on the moon as it goes through the zodiac cycles. And then this book is more about um, the different types of moons according to like Native American indigenous um, cultures. So this one goes through like the different types of named moons, like the pink moon, um, the sap moon, um, the snow moon, and so on and so forth. So I'll have these by the side and I'll work on those. I have my little cafecito here, so I might put that up here. I'm going to put it over here actually. And then I have my Cosmic Watercolor sticker book and my trusty Sharpie S gel. So let's get into it. So in this moonology book, it has a section for each new moon. And so here it says new moon or solar eclipse in Aries. And we actually did have a solar eclipse, um, this new moon. So and it, and it gives you um, five different like major concepts or points or suggestions to take a new moon in Aries. Um, the first is take action. Um, and it says here, the new moon in Aries marks the start of the new moon cycle since Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. The time for dreaming is over and the time to take action has come. You have a clean slate when it comes to making your new moon wishes. If you've been lax about doing them, this is the time to get back on board. And I love how it says that because I have definitely been disconnected from the moon for a while now. I think honestly, ever since I graduated last year and the months preceding my graduation, I was so focused in on finishing graduate school. I just let a lot of things kind of go by the wayside and my spirituality, my grimoire, my connection with the moon was definitely one of those things that um, I just kind of left to the wayside. And I have not been making new moon wishes for a very long time now when I used to be super, super consistent with them. And so... <clears throat> Um, I'm ready to get back into it. And actually, this video is happening on April 28th, and it's been eight days already since the new moon. I actually set up these pages on the new moon itself, so I kind of did harness that energy, but I wasn't able to get in here and journal and write down my new moon wishes until today. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect just because you miss the day does not, does not mean that you aren't able to make those wishes. Of course, it's not going to be as powerful as if you had done them on the day itself. But if you have the right energy and if you try to get it done as close to the day as possible, then you are still going to get some benefit. Okay, so I'm going to write take action right here uh, as the first bullet point take action the next one is make a 12 month plan i like that too it's funny because it, it even says in this book as well um that aries aren't really planners <laughs> i have a boyfriend who's an aries and i have a good friend who's an aries and i don't i feel like aries aren't super great planners that doesn't mean that they can't be planners it just means i feel like it is a little bit more difficult for them and if they do stick to a plan they're really able to channel that really fiery go-getter energy so um even though planning isn't part of the aries life it's an important part to kind of kind of counterbalance the aries energy so the third one is be courageous. Um, Aries energy is very fiery, very go-getter, very like fearful of a nothing, courageous. And so it's encouraging you to channel that courageous energy. Um, have some fun. It's the fourth one that we have here. Um, have some fun. Aries energy is very childish. There's a lot of the inner child energy with Aries. Aries Aries kind of has a root energy, like the back to the basics um, type of energy um, that's very childlike. They have simple pleasures, simple minded, um, and they're not too caught up in themselves to have some fun. So that's a really important point. 
And then the fifth one that they have in the book is focus on you. And honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I think this one is true of every zodiac sign. Um, and honestly, probably true of some more than others. Like, I think that befits Cancer and Taurus more so than it fits Aries. I mean, I feel like this focus on you could be said of any zodiac sign pretty appropriately. Um, so I'm going to skip that one for now, and I'm going to give um, my own two cents on what the new moon in Aries energy is like. And the first is begin a project, and I'm going to put begin that project because I feel like we all have a project that is just waiting in the wings until we have some time to to complete it or to continue it or to begin it um the grimoire is definitely that project for me so begin that project again new moon and Aries energy is very very kickstarty kickoffy um just raring to go bursting out the gate and there's a lot of like new beginning energy in new moon and Aries and I'm gonna put connect with speed. Um, this was this is this is one that um, is a little bit I don't know. It just came to my mind right now when I was thinking about new moon and Aries energy. Aries energy for me is very rapid. It's fast, and I always feel like the need to move and to move fast in this time. Move a uh, quick movement, rapid movement. Um, and just movement in general. I just kind of want to be moving in the new moon in Aries. And so I'm going to write down here, connect with speed and movement, whether that's dancing, whether that's going on a run, which is interestingly enough, both of those activities are things I just started really getting back into around this time. So whether it's dancing, whether it's running, whether it's bicycling, swimming, whether um, it's going for like a, a nice fast drive, going um, to bumper carts or go-kart racing, whatever it is, get your body moving. Honestly, probably better to do it, you know, physically. So that's either running or biking or just moving your body by yourself physically. But I think you can still get that type of energy and exhilaration if you're in like a roller coaster or in a fast car or what have you but there's something about moving quickly that is good for the soul like you feel the wind whipping your hair your body is kind of heating up in overdrive as it pushes itself to its limits there's a little bit of that nervousness if you're rushing around on a roller coaster it's a good experience it's a good experience to move fast so those are the six things that I'm writing down for New Moon and Aries. This is the six like basic concepts that encapsulate a New Moon and Aries energy. And I'm gonna go ahead and journal a little bit about the New Moon and Aries here. Okay, there we go. I journaled a little bit about what the New Moon and Aries is. Um, I adapted a bit from the Moonology book, but I also added my own spin on it, wrote it in my own words. And just also added my personal reflections on what the new moon in Aries means to me and has been to me historically. And that's something that I'm really trying to focus in on for my grimoire is not just writing down um, what other people's experiences are of certain things, but bringing in my own experiences and making it very personal to me, very customizable to me, because that is, at the end of the day, what a grimoire is. It's your own spell book, and I think everyone perceives the universe in slightly different ways. There are definitely some things that are, um, I think, general patterns in the universe that everyone perceives in similar ways, but even on top of that, there's slight nuances about how things manifest for you because it's always going to be an interaction of yourself and the universe um, as opposed to just the universe impacting you. So how I perceive the new moon in Aries and how I experience it might be a little bit different from you or your neighbor. I even feel like it's a little bit different from how Yasmin Bolan perceives it. As you can see, I, I didn't really agree with some of her points about the new moon in Aries, but that's totally fine. And both of us are right for our own personal spheres of influence. So let me read this out loud. I wrote, the new moon in Aries marks the start of the new moon cycle, as Aries is the first sign in the zodiac. The time for dreaming, wishing, and waiting has passed. The time for action is now. New moon in Aries energy is fiery and creative. 
This is the time for beginning projects, making goals, and starting fresh. The energy is youthful and joyful. I'm going to add one more sentence. Embark on this journey, on this new lunar journey, with a cheerful heart. Perfect. I love that. I felt like it was missing like a concluding sentence. I love it. I already love it so much. Okay. Um, page number two. Okay. For this page, I was thinking of making it like a, uh, a word cloud or, or a brainstorm of different things that I want to make a note of to make an extra effort to do around this time. Like for example, go on a run, um, to connect with speed, um, go on a beautiful drive, um, eat a spicy dish to connect with that fiery energy. Ooh, make a fire. Um, I'm going to title this New Moon in Aries Actions. Okay, I think I'm going to leave this a little bit unfinished because there's tons of things that I could continue to add on this and I kind of want to get a move on. I'm sure there's tons of things that can go on here. Let me know some ideas for New Moon in Aries actions. I wrote a bunch down like go on a scenic drive, arts and crafts night, game night with friends, go salsa dancing, make a fire, go on a roller coaster, go for a run, make a spicy dish, do something that scares you. Um, and I'll continue to add to this list and or this brainstorm word cloud thing and then add stickers so it's super super cute but I'm gonna leave that like that for now and then I'm gonna move on to um, the most important part I think of this section is the new moon wishes and I'm actually thinking that um, I'm gonna write my new moon wishes here and then a, and actually I think I might think of a ritual. I'm thinking of making my own rituals, um, one for each moon that I will do on each new moon or full moon. So I think I'm going to leave this page for a ritual that I'm going to think of. And then I'm going to write my new moon wishes on this page right here. I might try to use a sticker here. Okay, I finished my new moon wishes. I really like how it turned out. I love it so much. This is so me. Like, I feel like this is my evolved form. Like, I used to, this is how I used to set up my new moon spreads. And I feel like it just wasn't exactly what I wanted and because of that I just abandoned the whole project you can see like the difference in between how I am now <laughs> and how I was before this is where we started this is where we are now but you know I don't want to hate too much on my old self, my old spreads, because we all start somewhere. This is a necessary part of the evolution and the growth, and I am grateful for who I was at this stage of my life, but this is how I want to be from now on. I just love how this looks. So my new moon wishes. I'm really, really proud of these. Um, so I made five. I barely fit the fifth one in here. And so I'm def definitely going to have to be cognizant of that moving forward because I do like doing five wishes. I think that's such a like a powerful, strong number. Um, and I I try to stick with five. And it seems like I, I run out of space. So I either have to write less, which is always a challenge for me, or I have to spread out more onto a second page. So my new moon wishes are number one, stay consistent with fitness. And a lot of these wishes 
Okay, wait, let's take a step back. So new moons are amazing times to make goals, to set wishes, to speak out dreams, because this is a time in the lunar cycle, in the metaphysical energy of the universe, where um, the energy is ripe for you to begin things to start things, to initiate things, to dream of things. And so you really want to take advantage of this time to set some wishes, some goals, some dreams. And then throughout the lunar cycle, which is, you know, 28 days throughout the lunar cycle or throughout the entire like lunar calendar year, which is, you know, an entire year, um, you work on those goals. And you don't have to tailor your goals to be um, kind of appropriate or relative to the new moon in Aries energy, but I think it's wise to tailor your goals so that it's really capitalizing on the particular energy of new moon in Aries. So if I thought a lot about the goals that I wanted to achieve in this um, in this in this moon cycle, so in this twenty eight day cycle. And a lot of these goals are goals, of course, I want to, you know, have throughout the year and for the rest of my life, honestly. But um, but a lot of these goals are goals that are kind of relating to that energy of new moon and Aries, the creative energy, the inventive energy, the fiery energy, the rapid energy. So the first goal I have is stay consistent with fitness and um I really want to develop a routine of working out four to five times a week and then running five to seven times a week and incorporating strength and stretching into my exercise routines. So again, that physical active energy. Um, I think this is a great time to make fitness goals. Goal number two is publish videos four to five times a week and stay consistent with creating content for YouTube. In particular, I want to publish more grimoire videos and different types of content. I want to really challenge myself to bring something fresh and exciting to the planner community, the planner world. And please, please let me know if you have any ideas of things you want to see on my channel. I would love to do videos that um, you all find exciting and interesting. So please, please let me know if you have any ideas. Goal number three is to start salsa and bachata dancing seriously. Um, there was a time in my life about wow maybe three four years ago at this point oh my goodness yeah because it was definitely before covid and even then i had kind of stopped like the year before covid like 2018 2019 i was dancing like three times a week at my local um, salsa club and i was a very very good <laughs> salsa and bachata dancer and i completely dropped it in 20 like the second half of 2019 and of course all throughout covid i was not dancing and then even when the club started opening up again i was super super busy finishing grad school and then starting my new position that i just never went back and at this point it has been maybe four years since i really started dancing seriously and i do miss it and i recently just went back to um the club the salsa club um like two weeks ago and i totally had forgotten a lot of the moves and a lot of the movement and you know i just want to get back into it because it is something that's very very fun it's very social it's something new to do and i enjoy salsa and bachata dancing very much and so i really want to get back into it um so this is a goal that i want to focus on Goal number four is buy a Cricut and start making stickers. I keep on putting this off because I keep on just not wanting to spend that much money. And then also, I just don't have time. I didn't have time for a while now. For the last couple of months, I feel like even if I had bought the Cricut, it would have just been sitting in the corner because I had literally no time to even think about like setting up a new machine, learning all the ways of the software and all that. But I think in May, it's going to happen. I'm going to go to Michael's in that first week of May when I, the paycheck hits the bank um, and I'm going to buy a Cricut and start making stickers like actual stickers. Right now, all the stickers that I've made have been prototypes and um, I definitely want to kind of one up them when I actually start making stickers. And of course, they, they haven't been cut. These are all stickers that I have to cut by hand myself. So if I get a Cricut and really start making stickers, I think it's just going to be so much better. 
goal number five this one is a long shot and i always tend to have like four pretty sensible goals and then one like completely long shot goal and this is something that i want to really challenge myself to do and that's get up at five o'clock in the morning as a routine I do go to sleep pretty early, like 9, 9.30, and so 5 in the morning should be reasonable for me. And I'm starting to creep up on that time. Like for the last couple of days, I have been getting up at 6 in the morning, and so I feel like one hour earlier isn't going to be too crazy, but let's see. I think I'm going to make like sleep tracking stickers or something to keep track of um, when I wake up and when I go to sleep. And then I decided that this little section right here is going to be an end of cycle reflection. So at the end of the month or when the next new moon occurs, I'm going to check back in here and reflect on what was accomplished and what was not accomplished. And I think that's it that we're going to do in my grimoire today because um, this is already a super long video. So again, just to recap, we have New Moon and Aries kind of like intro page here. I love it. Um, six of the major concepts of New Moon and Aries, I would say. Um, just a little reflection about the moon in general here is like a bucket list i guess maybe it's better to call this a bucket list but i've called it new moon in aries actions and again this is kind of unfinished i'll go back in and maybe um, add some more stickers some more ideas and please let me know if you have any ideas for this bucket list and then we have this page which is blank for now but i'm gonna make a ritual i want to develop a ritual like my own ritual that I want to do every new moon Marys. So I'm going to write that down here. It might be a video, might not, not sure. And then lastly, my new moon in Aries wishes. I love how this turned out. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for spending all of that time with me. I really appreciate it. Um, let me know what your new moon in Aries wishes are. Speak them into existence. And I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, happy planning, and happy trails. Adios.